Many of us were taught lightning safety tips growing up, but is there truth behind these safety tips or are they just myths? Joining us now, National Weather Service meteorologist Felicia Bowser to help us decipher between fact and fiction in this lightning round of questions. much for joining us. Thanks for us. having me. <laughs> so our first question, fact or fiction, can you shower or take a bath while it's lightning outside? It's probably not best to take a shower while it's lightning outside because if a lightning strike was to strike right in front of your home into the ground, it can actually penetrate and go into those pipes and then it could crawl up towards your shower. So I would probably avoid taking a shower during a lightning storm. Well, that's a good tip. I had no idea that was something that could happen. All right, so another question, fact or fiction, can you wash or dry your clothes while it's lightning? See, here's the thing, it's not a problem doing so. However, with a lightning storm, it could hit something where you can lose power and you don't want to be losing power with wet clothes still in the washer. So probably not the best bet to do it. And what about TV, fact or fiction? Because we tell people that, you know, to tune into your local news to watch your TV while a severe thunderstorm is going on. So can you watch TV while it's lightning? Again, it probably relates to losing power. You may not be able to get that resource. And, but in addition, especially if you don't have a surge protector, uh, it can actually blow out your television if a lightning strike was to strike your home directly. So should you avoid it? You can, however, make sure you have a surge protector and just be aware of your surroundings. So fact or fiction, are you safer in your car while it's lightning because of the tires? A lot of people think this because your tires are made of rubber, but is it, does it really make you safer? Actually, it's not the rubber that makes it safe. It's actually the metal component of what your car is made of. So the metal part of your roofing and on the sides of your home and on the sides of the car, that's what makes you safe. That's what detracts the lightning to go away from the car if a lightning strike was to strike your car. It has nothing to do with the rubber tires. Oh wow, I'm learning something new today. I had no idea. So fact or fiction, can you be struck by lightning while talking on a cell phone or a landline? And for those <laughs> with a generational gap, if you don't know what a landline <laughs> is, back in the day, people used to have house phones in there. There was a landline for that. So can you be struck by lightning while talking on a cell phone or using a landline. Yes, especially when we're talking about people who still have landlines, it's probably not the best bet to be on it. Again, for the same reason, if you're in the shower and it could penetrate some type of wire that's, ne that's next to your landline. As far as the cell phone, it's probably okay. There's no direct connect when it comes to that. Very interesting. All right, and so we have one more question. It's a bonus question for our lightning round. I'm ready. Okay, so if you are wearing rubber boots and you're walking outside. Okay. Fact or fiction, can you be struck by lightning? You absolutely can, especially if you are the tallest object outside. So if you're in the middle of a field, even if there's trees around, you can still pose a threat and get struck by lightning. It has nothing to do with the rubber soles of your, of your boots or any type of active wear for that nature. Oh my goodness. Well, I have learned a whole lot about lightning that I did not know before, and hopefully those watching will uh, find this helpful for them as well. Felicia Bowser with the National Weather Service right here in Jackson. Thank you so much for all the work that you do. We at MEMA are very happy to have y'all as a partner and help us through this spring severe weather season. And we feel the same way. Thanks for having me.